What's up YouTube? It's Daniel here from Glisco and today I got the Govi Flow light bar with me. We're going to be putting it in our setup right behind us and we're going to see if it's worth it. I bought this from Amazon a few days ago and I'm excited to get it set up. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so we open up the box. First thing I wanna note that these are much smaller than I thought they were gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like this large, thicker uh, light. Based on like the listing photos, it really looked big, but seeing how small they are, it's, you know, I'm, I'm gonna see how much light these actually put out. I like the way they did this. It's USB-C, which is, which is nice. These are connected together. So the two lights are connected together, which then connects to the hub. And then the hub, which could control the lights, um, get plugged into the outlet. Which is, which is pretty cool. You want to mount it on the wall. They have this pretty cool uh, adhesive attachment, which just hooks right into here. Or it looks like you could just put them on the stand. Honestly, that's really it. It's, I like how simple it is. It's super simple. The materials uh, seem fairly quality. This, these are very light. You know, again, once again, I assume kind of expected them to be a little heavier, but they are light. There's adhesive backing on the controller as well. So I guess if you are mounting on the wall, uh, then you can mount the controller as well right next to it. So we're gonna plug it in, we're gonna see how it looks, and let's we'll jump right into that. Okay guys, we set up the Govi Flow light bars, and to be honest, I like I like them off the first view. You really need to download the app if you do want to get the full effect of the lights. Otherwise, uh, there's not many options with just a controller. Uh, but the one thing I noticed that would be an issue for you, if your TV is somewhat close to the wall, then these mounts, they're, they're in a fixed position. So the light will be really harsh against the wall and it's too close. You almost need to be able to rotate these to allow the light to kind of shine across the wall versus directly at it. You can see here that we actually rotated ours horizontally versus vertical. So I think that gives more of a, like a softer look to the lights, but they do look cool. And I think you could really set them up in, a, in an interesting way. Would I buy it? Um, no, I wouldn't buy it. Only because I think they should have a little bit more power personally, and I think they could be a little bit bigger and softer. Maybe maybe something like the Philips Hue, we should test something like that against this and see the difference. Compared to the Nanoleaf, the Nanoleaf app I would say is a little bit more cumbersome and it makes you go through a few more steps to get things going. I would like to see maybe some sort of integration between the two products. If we could integrate these Govi lights with the Nanoleaf, uh, that would be pretty sweet. If you guys wanna see more light videos, light bars, light, you know, floor lights, then, you know, we could go ahead and do it. Otherwise, we're gonna clean up the wires here. We're gonna make it look a little bit nicer. And, you know, that's it.